Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to integrate Google Places API, in particular the Nearby Maps API, into your Flutterflow app. So firstly, we're going to create a new project. Let's call it New Places. And next, we'll connect it into our Firebase. So we'll go to Firebase and I'm going to create a new project, Nearby Places. Once the project has been created, we'll copy the ID, the project ID into Flutterflow. Here, you'll throw an error saying it's not an editor. We'll just copy this email, go back to Firebase, go to users and permission, and then add Flutterflow as an editor. And then connect. So we'll just create a landing page our home page, let's call it maps page. Next, we'll need to obtain the API keys. So go to Google console and create a new project. After the project has been created, we'll go to API and services, enable API, and here we'll need to enable four main APIs. The APIs we need is the Maps SDK for Android, iOS, and JavaScript, in addition to the nearby places API, which is called places API. So we can just click into each individual one and then press the enable button. Now that we have it all enabled, as you can see here, we'll need to obtain the API key. So go to keys and credential. Most of the time, the API keys are created on enablement. However, it doesn't seem to be the case. We need to copy these API keys into Flutterflow. So let's create these keys manually. So here I've created those API keys and we'll copy them into Flutterflow. So you go to settings, and you go to Google Maps, and then it needs the Android, iOS, and WebKey. Now that's done, let's build the maps and the search button. So I'm gonna go add a Google Map, and then we can change the lat long to the current device location. And then what I'll do next is really add the places picker. This is where it allows the user to select a specific location. I'll now add a search icon. So when the user clicks search, it will actually take those value from this selected location and input it into uh, the API. Let's test this action now first um, by recentering Google Maps based on the selected location. So we can add an action and then we go to Google Maps and then we'll recenter the map based on um, the places pickers lat long. Let's test this out. So here I'll search Sydney, New South Wales, Australia and the map automatically recenters to Sydney. Next, we'll need to bring in the nearby searches. So you can go to developers.google.com to read the documentation. Um, it's quite extensive. So here we need some required par parameters, such as location and radius. Location being that long, radius is being in meters, how far you want to search. Now let's jump back to Flutterflow to create the API core. So you can add an API core and the it's going to be a get request where our get request is going to be that uh, example where it's provided by Google. So paste this into the API URL and we just call this in by places. So we need to feed a set of parameter into it. Um, but the first thing we need to do is create that variable. This will basically allow the user to input uh, any location they want to search for. 
And then next we'll add a set of parameters, which is required. So the first being the API key, which is defined as a string and that you can obtain from your Google Maps platform. Next, we also need a required variable called radius. We're going to set it to 2000 meters. And then lastly, let's just narrow down our searches to type restaurants. Finally, we also need the location. Um, so this is going to be leveraging our variable that we created. So let's test the API call. It seems to be perfectly working. Great. So what's really great about Flutterflow is that there is a recommended JSON path to help you pass the response. Um, for simplicity's sake, I believe we'll just need the lat long in order to create the pins. And how about we just also include uh, the name of the business. Let's jump back to our widget builder. So what we want to achieve here is that a user can select a location and when they press the search icon, it would output the nearby restaurants based on the selected location. So what we need to do is um, create an action for the search that calls API. So here we'll create a new action. It's going to be API call. And it's going to be the newly created API call we just created. And the variable we need to feed in is a set of lat long to search for. One thing I'd like to note is that the lat long that we need to search for in the API call is of type string. However, Flutterflow's lat long in places picker is a type lat long. So we need to create a custom function. So let's call this custom function lat long to string. And we're going to have it lat long as an argument that we want to convert to string. So we can go to code copilot to help us write the code, which is write simple, simply return input location as string. And this will give you a set of code. Now we save the function and then input the places picker lat long into this custom function for the API call. We'll add the output variable. Let's call it nearby places results. Now, how do we display these set of results as markers on the map? So we select market as multiple, uh, type lat long. What's also a bit of problematic here is that, um, as you can see, the results is of type double. However, Flutterflow needs a list of type lat long. So what we need to do here is also create a custom function to convert this list of doubles into a list of lat longs. So here we'll just create a new custom function where the output is a list of lat long and arguments are a list of latitudes and a list of longitudes. And similarly, we'll use Copilot to help us write the code. Let's return that long combined. This looks about right and we'll copy the function, save it, and as always, check for error. No errors, that's great. Now we'll leverage this custom function to create our list of lat longs. So select the custom function, action output need by places result. Now we're going to select the lat latitude JSON path in addition to the longitude JSON path based on our actions output from the previous API call we created. Now let's test this out and see if it works. Great, we're gonna search 200 Barangaroo, Sydney and press the search button. And here you'll see the list of restaurants that are within 2000 meter radius of Tower 2 of 200 Barangaroo, Sydney. In the next video, I'll show you how to click onto each individual marker and go to a detailed page so you can show hours or reviews. I hope this tutorial helped you understand how to use Flutterflow and Google Maps together, in addition, leveraging the Google Places API. 
Remember to comment, like, or subscribe for more content on Flutterflow.